Scott, my all-time most anticipated TV event, the finale of the first season of Survivor seemed bigger than life. <laughs> I was at a funeral viewing, and people were leaving before the prayer so they could get home and watch Survivor. I remember that. That was huge. On my way out, I passed the casket, and I whispered, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> it's time for you to go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't really say that. <laughs> you know, another one for me when I go back and think of it was, it was a UFC event. Brock Lesnar's first fight against um, oh, uh, Rick, uh, Frank Mir. His first fight against Frank Mir. I had people at my house. Ken, you may have been at my house. That, that was night. me, you, and Wetzel. Yeah, right? Wetzel was there. And I, got, uh, I, I was really, really anticipating that fight. I was a huge Brock Lesnar guy, and I wanted to see what he would do. Your and buddy was a huge Brock Lesnar guy, too. He was kind of pissing me off a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like an anti Brock guy, and he's like, oh, I love Brock Lesnar. And I was like, Who's your buddy? I, was him? I'm trying to remember. If it was, I think Grush? It was, no, it wasn't. Tag? It wasn't Grush. It wasn't Tag. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys you love that you haven't met. No. Although I think you've met Grush. Um, was it a Kevin? It was, not, it was not a Kevin. Right. No, it may have been a Pete. All right. It may have been Pete. Um, you can rub people the wrong way. <laughs> people trying to catch up. I watched season seven again. Went back and watched season one again. So many phrases in season seven are in season one. From Tony, I'm up to season six, episode four. I won't make it by the season premiere Sunday, but I will be caught up by week two. Uh, and a lot of people making draft picks for the Lions. The pick is in. <laughs> With the eighth pick of the NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select the Mountain Nose Tackle. See? Hodor is a great call, though. I got to tell you. Franchise left that's, tackle, man. That's a great call. Uh, the pick is in. Uh, with the eighth pick of the NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select Call Drogo, defensive end. That's from Ryseman in Ann Arbor. Dude, he, he's like a Devin Bush sideline to sideline guy. I think. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty pretty good, pretty good. Somebody questioning the pick of Hodor. Hodor holding the door, holding sounds like a lot of flags, guys. That could be. Yeah, that's Kay. true. It that could, could be. be. Yeah. Uh, the pick is in. With the eighth pick, the Detroit Lions take the Ice King quarterback. Did you see that spear throw? He's got Dude, accuracy. Accuracy He's and got arm accuracy. strength. Yeah. He can make all the throws. Yeah, he can. Elusive, too. The pick is in. <laughs> With the eighth pick of the Detroit Lions Game of Thrones edition, I'm drafting Jon Snow, quarterback, King of the North. He would bring out the passion in every player in the locker room to fight for them and win every game. That's from Marla in Commerce Township. He, he is a natural-born leader, Gator. Is he, though? For what he lacks in athleticism, when thrown into the fire, he leads men. You know who I like better as a leader? Rob Stark. I do, I'm a big fan of Rob Stark. Uh, oh. Most annoying Game of Thrones fan, since I don't watch this show, the worst are the people who are surprised and disappointed that I don't watch and then proceed to lecture me on why I should. Oh, those people are bad. You don't want to watch it, don't watch it. It's okay. It's not for everybody. Yeah, I totally I'm not get it. This on yeah, anybody, not everybody no. likes the fantasy stuff. Nope. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Let's go to Lee on a cell. Hi, Lee. Hi, how's it going? We're good. All right. Lee. Um, I wanted to place my draft pick for the Lions as Brienne of Tarth. Brienne of Tarth. Oh, yes, okay. yes. What what position? I'm sorry? What position do you think she would play? Oh God. Um Probably defensive end. I see. Yeah, I, I would look at either defensive end or tight or, or tight end. Okay. For, I, I, I could see her being a tight end. This is uh, now. Help me out here. Don't watch this show. Yeah. You want to put her at defensive end or tight end? Yeah. Is she just mm -hmm. a beast? She's. Um, I think she's, she's like an Anthony Zettel type. You know. Uh, okay. Nonstop motor. You know, you can count on yep. her always. Yeah, good well, size, but it, but at not, eight? not great size, but good size. This is a mid round pick, right? No, yeah, this is not a, right. the eighth overall pick. All this right, is a mid round gotcha. pick. Right, yeah. Like a little stretch at eight, but I like where Lee's head's at. Yeah, I mean, and worst comes to worst, she can always rip off somebody's ear, so we're good to go. Well, there's that, and look, she battled That's a gonna bear. Draw a flag. She That's... battled an actual grizzly bear with nothing but a wooden spear. That's true. Something better than Zettel, maybe Van den Bosch. Oh <laughs> yeah, oh <laughs> right. Van den Bosch. Yeah. Then, then she would be worth a first round pick. It was Sue. It, it was, was Sue. Sue. <laughs> Let's go to Kevin and McCombie on 97. Want to take it? Hi, Kevin. Hey, guys. Thanks hey. for uh, taking my call. Sure. I just wanted to uh, talk about the Game of Thrones, who the Lions should take with their draft pick. Yes. I would, uh, it'd be uh, Brienne of Tarth. 
Okay, where would and, you uh, where would you put her? I would put her either at outside linebacker or uh, defensive end, and okay. then also what you said, Gator, a uh, tight end. And the re- well for her defense, she has that that Nadamik and Sue like toughness, but the difference is that she's actually loyal. I mean, if you watch the TV, true, show, she's very she's loyal. Very, very loyal character. Very loyal. And she'll she'll listen. She'll do what you ask her to do. <laughs> so yeah, very loyal. Yes. All right. So Brianne of Tarth. Getting some love. This is like Mach 2.0 or <laughs> yeah. Game of Thrones. She's winning right now. Kevin had another one there. I wish he had said instead. Who's that? I know. I wish he would have said it too. Who? He had Grey Worm out there. And if those know who Grey Worm is, the uh, the from the Unsullied. He's like the the leader of the Unsullied. The, the former slaves who now works uh, like Daenerys's right hand yeah. man now to like lead her yeah. army. And what stuff. position? Yeah. I'm thinking slot receiver. Oh, slot really? receiver. Okay. Are you I was shifty, thinking, you know, like a Amendola Edelman type. I was thinking more because he's more combative. I was thinking more defensive back, like a corner, lockdown okay. corner. Okay, here's the question. Would you rather go Grey Worm from Game of Thrones or Debo Samuel, South Carolina? I got Grey Worm. Okay. Yeah, Grey Worm, yeah. I mean, Grey Worm, <laughs> Grey Worm's hard to beat. He he just, he's tenacious. Uh, and, and also. He'd be coming up short on the physical part of the. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, <laughs> he's, 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 physical from the he's not going to look like much. No. You know, it's kind of a little bit like, you know, Colt, kind of like Golden Tate. You know, it doesn't look, really look like much, but all he does is get open. Yeah. And That's why loyal. I say slot receiver. I make a lot of guys miss. Loyalty through the charts with that guy, too. I don't know if this is a typo or you're going to have to help me because, again, I don't watch the show. Fantastic. What do you got? But I am hiring Bran as coach because he might be able to yeah. warg into opposing players and make them cough up the ball. Yeah, he's like a Belichick, man. Yeah. What is, he's, what is, he, can, he can see, like, the future. Yeah. He's very mind. He's got the mind three-eyed games raven, you know, yeah, the whole mind thing. Games, yeah, yeah he, he's absolutely. Uh, the pick is in for the eighth pick of the NFL draft. To hell with Hodor or the mountain. I'm going with 1-1, the giant uh, at defensive end. Forgot about that guy. How do we forget about the giant? I feel Although, like there would be some kind of, like, you couldn't draft that guy. He's, very slow, though. Yeah. You're very, very slow. slow. Yeah. Bad 40 time? Yeah. Bad, well, he, when he wakes up in the 40, he makes it 40 time with a stride, but he's just slow to get the legs going. Slower to get the arms going. I, I think if you're looking at a guy like that, it, it seems like you're just drafting for size rather than skill. Would you He's block basically like a faster John Jansen? Would you block every kick? Did you just hear that? What are you doing? He just trolled John Jansen. He just trolled John Jansen. I think he needed one for the weekend. That's Evan, why. Evan, Evan's part of Evan's very existence is to once a week troll John Jansen. Oh, there it is. Uh, the pick is in. This is from Alex and Howe. With the eighth pick, the Detroit Lions take Tyrion Lannister running back. Well, scat back. <laughs> Tyrion is like, uh, Darian Sproles size, even smaller, obviously. But Tyrion the imp, he's a he's a dwarf. I don't think that the uh, I, I think this is a reach. I think this is a reach at eight. Oh, it's definitely a reach at I mean, eight. For first round running backs, come on. He's not the first one I would consider it running back. Uh, although I like his uh, his guile. He's 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 very witty and smart. Mm-hmm. Um, but lacks low center of, of gravity. Low center of gravity, without yeah. a doubt. But he lacks the physical skills <laughs> that you need for someone like. But he's very smart, so I think he'll pick up the uh, pass blocking schemes. Yeah, Although he, he might not physically be able to pass block. <laughs> he'd be out week to week with concussions. I mean, this guy gets knocked on the ground so easily, right? This is true. Yeah. Yeah. Not 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 the first round pick. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven open lines. Ticket text nine seven one three six. All right, what would we deem success, a successful postseason for the Pistons? 